How to create a ground dirt mask in Blender. Let's say we have this wall with two materials. One is clean concrete, the other is not so clean one. First thing to do is mixing them into the material with a mix shader. The factor value switch between the two materials from zero to one. To identify areas for both, we need a texture coordinate in the mix factor. By doing that, the right side becomes mossy or showing dirt, and it goes cleaner to the left. It's a gradient, and you can see it clearly if we highlight the coordinate alone. Next, we need the separate XYZ node. Drop it after the texture coordinate, then put it on the Z axis cause we need the dirt at the bottom level on the wall. If we go back to the mix, we can see that it's working on opposite sides, so just flip the materials in the mix. What we can do now is control the dirt area. For that, we need couple of nodes. One is the noise texture. We can insert it to the line with a vector math node. A normal math node is needed to control the dirt height with its value, or use another math node on multiply and plug it in the last value we need to control. The noise texture is better on 4D type for the W value. This way, we get the noise with many variations on the wall. Last thing we can add is a color ramp to control the gradient or the transition between the two materials on the wall. So play with the black and white colors and live the dream. We can, from this set of nodes, hit Control G to make a group and name it as a dirt mask to be used later. Enter the group with the tab key, then plug the values we need to the group input to control them without opening the group each time we need a fix. And that's about it. Subscribe if you're still here and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.